Bruno. I can't believe that my least favorite pony is on the thumbnail. Oh, I just this Karen bitch have to be featured among all the ponies. Darling, I wish I knew. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Well, we are ponies, but still, that this new episode will be an improvement from the last one involving her. Yep, MLP. Tell your tale season to episode 13 is out. And this one is titled, P plus P equals BFS. And this one's written by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Tom Gidman. Oh, but yeah, the king is back. And I'm over the moon. I have a feeling that he will bring about some fantastic improvements, especially for Rarity. A Pip and Posey episode, revealing the reason for the title choice. Due to their matching first letters, they both start with letter P. All right. Tom, is there any way you can help Posey be a little nicer? Tom, it is highly recommended that you must improve upon this episode from her previous main-centered episode. You must. You must. You must. With a history dating back to since flat school, I'm absolutely certain that this Pip and Posey episode will be a true gem. I'm not fabricating this information. Absolutely. In that scenario, it adds another real crappy episode to Tom Kidman's list. Posey Bloom, the Fluttershy and Ray Collar. It's actually named after the pony from G1. All right, Tom, let's find out what the result is. Understood. Let's explore the encounter between a gifted pop star pony and an up-tempered pony with a remarkably short fuse. Get ready for episode 13 of season two. So let's... Go! There's Winnie! The boardwalk is looking great from the season to special! Pip is handing out bracelets. Nice for a mess, say. Oh, hi! Izzy is being super friendly by assisting Pip with the bracelets! What a kind gesture! A bracelet making robot! Silly Izzy! Oh, she is a ride! This is her inaugural experience on the boardwalk! This just in, these oh, hey, Dazzle Feather and Sky Silver. Amazing. They certainly are, Sky. Sorry, can somebody please tell me what is so special about these bracelets? Yeah, she's just a ride, you know. Any pony has one. You've got to get one. The way she looks at ponies like that is not to my liking. Absolutely. Every time you go on a ride or play a game with a friend. Oh, that's really me. The charms magically appear when you're having fun on rides and attractions. Have an extra charming day. Here we go. Right. Let's see what's so special about this thing. Oh, trust me, it's going to be absolutely incredible. <laughs> Witness and missed his dad and Quinn Haven having a blast on the Ferris wheel is truly amazing. It fills my heart with joy. Any moment now. Um, mm, Posey, that bracelet is more than meets the eye. It's a friendship bracelet. It indicates that you require your friend's presence to have a good time and reveal the charm. Like that! These ponies did it together and bam! A charm is here! Oh boy! Those silly mirrors! They never fail to crank me up! Okay, I'll admit it. Your wacky facial expressions are a right posy. Consider broken. yourself lucky. Hmm, it doesn't look broken. But I've been taking it on rides all afternoon and zero charms have appeared. You are just not doing it right. Hmm, a posy. I understand your concern, but I have to agree with Spike. The charm on the bracelet may not appear immediately when you're alone, but that doesn't mean you need a partner to make it happen. Sometimes, all it takes is a little patience and belief in yourself. Keep your spirits up and the charm will surely pitch up when the time is right. Or heck, making that charm on your bracelet truly emerge can be a bit tricky. But don't worry, you don't have to do it by yourself. Having a friend to share the journey with can make it all the more meaningful. I do believe you are right. We visited Florida twice for a good reason. It was such a blast being a pony during those tricks. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Izzy is really channeling there in her room. Huh, I informed you, Posey. Keep it. Oh, come on! Oh, no. The sorrow that angles me. What a tragic revelation. Is she truly devoid of any sense of belonging? Oh, the sweetest couple in love. Is it weird that I feel bad for her? If it is, then I'm weird, too. She wants to change, but she doesn't know how. Oh, 
spook me. The girl's sentiment resonates with me. I, too, share their sadness for Posey, who remains unaware of the true essence and significance of a friendship bracelet. It's a truly sorrowful situation. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. I don't need a magic bracelet anyway. Come on, Posey, give that thing another go. It's worth giving it a second chance and seeing where it leads. No! Didn't you hear me before? It's broken. I can understand why you might think it's broken, it but trust me, just it's not. It right, Pose. The way you get charms is by doing fun things with your friends. Oh, Pip, you're such a darling. As Rarity would say, your willingness to help Posey with her friendship bracelet is truly admirable. Keep up the fantastic work. They're friendship bracelets. Well, I haven't come here with any friends. Uh, fine, you caught me. I'm feeling bad for Posey. one pony who would love to spend the day getting friendship charms with you, Posey. Ugh, who's that? <laughs> really? Stop everything! Could Posey be on the path to character redemption? Oh my gosh, Tom! Are you actually going through with this right now? Oh, I'm so excited to see how this unfolds. Hee hee! Can you feel the energy in the air, y'all? Because I sure can... I am so hyped to witness the incredible adventure of Pip and Posey. This is going to be an unfurable experience. Come let's on, do this. Let's go explore the Bortron together. Every day is the best. Song repeats song. Oh, Pip singing. I said we can get enough of Pip singing. Have you ever seen Pip and Posey together? It's such an unexpected combination. But who am I to judge? It's actually quite refreshing to see them together. Oh, hey, Alpha Biddle and Queen Haven, we saw you two before. Can you believe it? Posey is singing. It's such a congenial surprise to hear her sing for the first time. Oh, Mindy should totally get a cute green elephant plushie to cuddle with. Slides are fun. This song is pure rhythm, and I'm loving every second of it. The two peas are really nailing it with this incredible song. Got it, dance! Trick bumper cars like these, yo! Plus, those ponies together gives me major roller coaster friendship vibes! I can't fucking believe it! Pony is experiencing such wonderful character development! Hey, it is quite ironic that we have a significantly superior vignette Valencia at the amusement park, but she can enjoy the company of a Fluttershy recolor. Whoa, that song was amazing! Bravo to that we're such a banger! How adorable! What she needs to do carrots and it is just heartwarming! Ah, oh no, her friendship bracelet. Ha ha ha! Oh, Pip! <laughs> Take a look at these two chilling by the ocean on the boardwalk. It's similar to Applejack and Rarity, who happen to be right beside each other in the Equestria Girl special, Work Coaster of Friendship. Exactly what I'm thinking, Flutters. And that was P plus P equals BFS. So Rarity and Sweetie Belle, what do you think of that episode? Oh my goodness! I, I, I'm at a loss for words. Posey actually had a moment without any abuse. Tom! Oh my goodness! You did it! You actually did it! You made me stop eating Posey! Hooray! Oh, she's definitely not the same troublemaker she used to be after that incident! <gasps> I'll say it loud and proud, Tom Gidmon is the master of writing episodes! And he bestowed redemption upon that Posey bloom! And it was a beautiful sight to behold! Motivated by an insatiable sense of wonder, Posey ventures on a diverse array of thrilling rides, her beloved friendship bracelet adorning her wrist! Nonetheless, the soul freaked him and she confronts the lack of a companion to revel in the exhilarating experiences alongside her. However, fortune smiled upon her. Our blue girl, Pip, kindly proposes to spend some quality time with her. The duo embarks on a series of exhilarating rides and engages in various entertaining games, all while truthfully sitting along. As their adventure progresses, Posey's bracelet becomes adorned with an assortment of charming trinkets. And the fact that it is worth noting that this brings to mind me, Apple Bloom and Fluttershy. Of Questy Girl's roller coaster of friendship. Quite a significant connection, indeed. It sure does. Wow, this song is absolutely amazing. Besties forever, such a fantastic melody. Pip and Posey gave it their all in this performance. The lyrics beautifully capture the essence of a perfect day spent together by these girls, and it's incredibly heartwarming. A 
huge shout out to me, Jade Bridal and Kimberly and Tron for their excellent collaboration. You both deserve all the praise and recognition. As a matter of fact, do you know what that song reminds me of? Side by side on this adventure. Oh yeah, oh boo. Yes, sweet Rel, I see the connection loud and clear. Also, Jazz and Rocky are embarking on a love field adventure, and I couldn't be happier about it. However, let's be honest, this particular episode doesn't quite make it into the top five. Nevertheless, I still appreciate it for what it brings to the table. In fact, it holds a special place as my ninth favorite episode. Oh, but let me tell you, Tom, with Posey's incredible character redemption and Pip by her side, this episode was an absolute delight. It was a good slice of life with some hilarious moments featuring Izzy, and let's not forget the amazing duo song that added so much greatness to it all. The ending was simply beautiful. My friend, you truly deserve my undivided attention because this has become my new favorite episode of Tell Your Tale of All Time. I can't thank Posey Bloom enough for redeeming herself. I am 100% satisfied with the outcome, one of the days of me and Rarity hating on her. Now, she has completely won me over and it's all thanks to you, Tom Gidman. This episode surpasses her previous one by far. Thank you so much, Tom. 